Hey, what's going on? Kate McShay here, and I'm coming to you from my home office in Washington State. Hope you're doing well. And today I just wanted to talk to you briefly about um, how to change your state. Okay, and I'll, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, because I've kind of been reflecting on it a little bit and been talking a lot about posture with my husband, um, specifically because, you know, there are def definitely different areas of our business that I'm not comfortable with yet. Um, and I've realized, though, that when I change my state um, and increase my posture and just, you know, continue to force myself to do that, when, when you actually find out how to do it, it's, it totally changes the way that you approach things. And it also changes the way that either your prospect or the person that you're talking with um, sees you as, as, a, as an actual person. So what, what I wanted to talk about today is just, just a little bit of this and give you a couple examples. So, find your inner, I'm going to say swagger, or find your, whichever one you resonate better with, inner performer. Okay? Now, this is not saying that you need to be somebody that you are not, but everybody deep down inside has some sort of swag, some sort of performance quality in them that some people either have not found yet or just don't know exactly when to use it. Um, so I'm going to read to you what swagger is because I know that there are definitely, you know, some people who may be unclear of what it is exactly. Um, so I got this from Urban Dictionary, and swagger is how one presents him or herself to the world. Swagger is shown from how the person handles a situation. It can also be shown in a person's walk. You hear a lot about people saying, you know, that person walks with swag or with, with a swagger. But, you know, I'm looking at it more as, you know, someone who moves with confidence, sophistication, and just has that cool factor, right? Um... So it's just challenging you to find your inner swagger. Where is your inner swagger? Where, are you, where do you find yourself to be the most confident? Um, also, finding your inner performer. I was thinking, and I've got my, let's see if I can get my leg over there. I got my heels on today, um, more just because I'm short, and, <laughs> and half the time people can't see me when I'm writing on the whiteboard. So I just need a little extra height today. But finding your inner performer, and the person that I think of when I think of finding your inner performer is Beyonce. And if you look at Beyonce on stage and you look at Beyonce in an interview, they're very different people. I mean, she calls herself Sasha Fierce when she's on stage. And you can just see it. She's a completely different person when she is on stage because she is making a statement with her performances. Now, the normal, regular person, if you were to hang out with Beyonce every day, would probably be very different than how she portrays herself or her swagger or her inner performer in, on stage. Uh, same thing with somebody, you know, uh, I'm thinking of Dane Cook. He's a famous comedian, and he had always talked about, you know, when he talks to people off of sta off stage, and they say, well, why aren't you as funny as you are when you're on stage? Well, he's found his inner performer. He's kind of found that posture inside of him, and it makes people think of him differently. But that doesn't mean that he always has to be that way. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that there are times for you to have posture, and there are times for you to just kind of be your normal, regular self. One time when I think of um, having posture or really, you know, showing yourself, showing that inner swag, that inner confidence, is when you're recording a video, um, when you are calling a prospect, when you're meeting with someone face-to-face. -face. You don't have to be in their face. You don't have to be Beyonce, Sasha Fierce when you're, you know, meeting, <laughs> meeting a prospect. But you need to... Dig deep down and find that inner confidence. Maybe that's a better way to say it. Your inner performer, your inner swag is your inner confidence in yourself. Now, it's not going to come overnight. I'm sure Beyonce did not walk out on that stage and all of a sudden, you know, realize she was Sasha Fierce. She had to practice. She had to dedicate herself to that task. But if you can start to find out, like, what your inner confidence looks like and just be authentic with it, then you're going to start to see other people attracted to you and want to know more about you because you portray yourself with confidence. If I were to get on this video and I were to, you know, stand here and, and talk quietly and, and tell you that, you know, this is the stuff I'm going to cover today and you really should listen to me and, you know, and, and 
what I'm talking about is really great. Well, yeah, there might be some people who resonate with me, and there might be some people who, who follow me. But by me having a confidence in myself and finding that you know inner confidence, inner swag, inner performer, I'm able to to be authentic in a way that that other people can connect with and other people kind of want to know more about what I do. Because to be honest, I'm, I'm very authentic when I come on here. And then when I'm off camera, you know, I might be a little bit more laid back, a little bit more flexible. Um, I don't know, you could ask my friends about that. They may completely disagree with me. But when I've got a point to make to you, yeah, I'm going to find my inner swagger. I'm going to find my inner performer. If I'm on stage, yes, I am going to find my inner swag. And I am going to portray that to you because that's power. And that's what you need to find. You just need to dig down deep inside. And you need to figure out, you know, who's your Sasha Fierce? Or what is your, what's your swag that you want to portray to other people? What's that posture that you want to have? So people go, wow, that's a leader. That's somebody that I want to follow. That's somebody I want to subscribe to. That's someone I want to like on their fan page. I want to be a part of their life. So that's all it is today, plain and simple, you know, just pure value of just trying to figure out who you are, where that inner confidence comes from. It's not easy. It probably won't happen overnight for most people, but I really encourage you to try and figure it out and find it because those are the people that others want to follow. They want to know more about because it's intriguing. It's interesting. It's when someone's powerful like that, it's not the norm. And so when you can find that inner power, that inner posture, inner swag, inner performer, that's going to make people attracted to you. All right? So I just continue to encourage you to, again, not change who you are, but find that inner confidence on the inside and be authentic with who you are because people will resonate and connect with you and want to know more. So uh, comment below. Let me know if you found your inner swag. Um, and let me know kind of what it looks like, what it sounds like. And, uh, and that's about it. So I hope that you come back and visit soon. I hope that this gave you some value. And if it did, please like, share, comment, you know, do anything to share it to the masses. Take care, have a good day, and come back soon.